Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're talking about the metric system. The metric system is the world standard for measurement. It is the system of measurements that is used by scientists all around the world, and it's been adopted by most countries. Unfortunately, the United States is not one that has adopted the metric system for official use, which means in the United States, we are often having to convert between the U.S. system of measurements and the metric system of measurements. So, the metric system has units for various types of measurement, including length, volume, mass, and temperature. For length, the meter is used. And it is abbreviated with an M. For volume, the liter is used, abbreviated with an L. Mass, it's the gram, abbreviated with a G. And for temperature, degrees Celsius is used abbreviated as degrees with a C. Now, the interesting thing with the metric system is that these base units are used for these different kinds of measurements and prefixes are employed in order to get the right size of unit. There are various different prefixes. Only a few of them are shown here, but these are the most common ones. There's giga, which is 10 to the ninth mega, which is 10 to the 6th. Of course, we're most often hearing giga and mega used in computer terminology. For example, we've all heard of gigabytes and megabytes. Kilo is 10 to the 3rd. For example, when we talk about a 5K that is using the K from kilometer to show the approximate level of distance. Centi is 10 to the minus 2. Note here that the exponent is negative because using prefix centi is smaller than the base unit, whereas these first three prefixes made the unit bigger than the base unit. Milli is getting even smaller at 10 to the minus third. Micro, even smaller at 10 to the minus six. Nano and pico getting even smaller at 10 to the minus nine and 10 to the minus 12. Also note that each of these prefixes have abbreviations, capital G, capital M, lowercase k, lowercase c, lowercase m. Here for micro, the abbreviation is the Greek letter mu. You can also see mc used as the abbreviation for micro, and then lowercase n and lowercase p, rounding it out for the nano and pico prefixes. Now let's look at some examples of how these prefixes are added to these base units to give a certain measurement. So for example, if you are measuring the mass of something, you're using grams, and it is 4 times 10 to the third, or 4,000, instead of writing 4,000 grams, you could use the prefix for 10 to the third, which is kilo, and this would be 4 kilograms. 6 times 10 to the minus 9th liters, instead of writing out this very small number in standard notation, you can use the prefix for 10 to the minus, minus 9th, which is nano. So this would be 6 nanoliters, which is obviously a very small unit of volume. Here, we have 0 0.001 grams. This is the same as 10 to the minus third. We see the prefix for that is milli. So this is one milligram. Here's another one, five times 10 to the third. Again, the prefix for 10 to the third is kilo. So this would be five kilometers. And of course, all of you runners out there know that five kilometers is a 5K, a common type of distance run. So these are examples of how these prefixes, the K, the N, the M, and the K, can be added in front of the base units for things like gram, liter, and meter in order to 
better explain certain types of measurements. You will notice that it's rare for these prefixes to be used with temperature simply because the temperature scale itself doesn't really lend itself well to these kinds of prefixes, mainly because we're not using huge, huge numbers or very, very small numbers. They're all pretty much within the range that can be stated without the use of a prefix. But there are many places where meters, liters, and grams need these various prefixes to help us understand those measurements, as we saw here. So that is it for this video on the metric system. Thanks for watching Biology Professor, and I hope you learned a lot.